We increased pricing because we introduced new products that we could introduce at a higher price. We cut costs. We weren't traveling. We weren't renting rooms. We weren't whining and dining. I cut a lot of costs because we weren't flying our teams everywhere. We weren't flying our teams, renting hotels, feeding people. So I was able to deliver my programs at a less expense for me, which also means I could lower the cost for my clients. So it was a win-win if they were willing to do it virtually. I created incentives to pull cash forward and then hire more 10X people. Now, what does that mean in my world? It means I hired people that were willing to make more phone calls, spend studio time. You know, when COVID hit, I set up seven studios in my house. In my garage, we set up a studio for the 10X owners live show we did. And then that studio also substituted for any one-off programs we did. Because I recognize that if I was in the same setting every time, it would lose its continuity of the programs we were offering. And if Natalie's using my studio, I can't use my studio. So we set up in all the rooms, different studios. We all took a subject because we're subject matter experts. And then I was the generalist. And then I would bring in subject matter experts at different points in time for different shows. So what we did is we went from all live shows to all virtual shows and each day was a themed event and each experience with that theme was different. And literally we went from all live events to offering more products. We increased sales by offering more unique products. We increased pricing because we introduced new products that we could introduce at a higher price. We cut costs. We weren't traveling. We weren't renting rooms. We weren't whining and dining. We collected cash by creating cash incentives to pay now in full versus pay it over time. And then we hired more people. And what happened? We hired more people to do more deliverables, creating more worksheets, creating more outbound phone calls, taking more inbound phone calls, generating more content so that we could help our clients in their local markets execute better. So the consequence of that, literally all our revenue was live revenue going into March of 2020. April, 100% of our revenue was from the studio production deliverable. Then I wrote an ebook called the Emergency Business Response, what to do in a crisis or emergency and created a whole emergency business response program that we sold. So we increased prices on new products. We increased new products, which is new sales. And our revenues went to 580, 630, 660, 830, 880, and we did our first million dollars in September. And I'll tell you another advantage of that was it was all virtual and it was all low cost to serve because it was all working out of my house. But then I took all those workshops and all those online programs and I converted them to two day masterminds. And I sold the two day masterminds for $10,000. The next pitch, emergency business response, eight elements of busting COVID. And I set up in my garage, I flipped the TVs around for my studio and I opened my garage doors and I put a tent over my garage that I left up for three months. And people were flying in in groups going through these workshops, these two day workshops. That's what got us to a million dollars a month. And that million a month within six months was $2 million because people would come to the two day workshops and then they all would be like, oh man, we need this, but we need to go to the 10X 360. And I started running the 10X 360 out of my garage. And then we started going to Dallas where we could open up the market. And then we went to Florida when they let us open up the market. And by the way, today Today, I just want to tell you guys, today is the fourth anniversary to the first day of our first 10X360 program that we call the Executive Summit. So it's exactly four years ago today, June 1st, that we ran the first ever program that we got money for as partners to Grant and Elena Cardone. And the reason I want to inspire you with this, with increasing pricing, increasing activity, increasing sales, decreasing costs, because every month we look at what we spend money on and every month we try to rebalance how we can do things more efficient, more effective. Every month as an organization, I spend a lot of time as part of my due diligence, half hour a night looking at all these scaling experts online. I sign up for their programs. I look at their worksheets. I look at their resumes because it's my job to understand is there people doing things bigger, better, more impactful than I'm doing or the grants doing? Because if so, I need to figure out what they're doing to learn from it. There are a few people out there that are remarkable in so many different ways. So I would encourage you to say you're locked in and you're loaded into learning from mentors and for people that are demonstrating to you. You got a diversification of experts across different areas of our organization to learn and see and hear how an organization is supposed to start, grow, scale, and create maximum value. No one business owner can do that by themselves.
And at the same time that I've generated a business that went from its first year doing with my team doing 13 million and then 38 million and then 83 million last year, and we'll do 130 million this year. At the same time, Grant's 5X to his operating company and 5X his fund. Went from 200 million to over a billion dollars. All that we've done together as a team in four years. What does that say to you? It says the bigger your team is, the more aligned they are, the more they can complement each other, the faster you can crush it. So if you're looking for clues, that's your number one clue.